taking control of the Dotson, you're not fit to referee. You're not fit to referee. Yo my people, how we doing? It is a match day, an away day, a London derby. We are playing Tottenham Hotspur away from home. We're going to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Spurs versus Palace. It's going to be a good one today. I think there'll be a lot of goals. Definitely won't be nil-nil for a fact, you know. I mean, last week, look at the game against West Ham, you know, seven goal thriller. Who knows what today could bring with two sides who have had difficult seasons overall, you know. But recently, I've been scoring a lot of goals. And yeah, um, a morning capable of getting a good result in this match, you know, depending on how the game overall goes and that, to be fair. It's going to be a close one today. You know, Spurs know they got a win if they want to try and still have a chance of getting top four. We got a win if we want to get top ten and finish in the top half of the table for the first time in nearly, what, eight years. So yeah, hopefully we could do that. Really saw sort of optimistic in that today. Uh, I don't think we're going to lose, but will we win? I mean, our record at Tottenham's torrid and away. At the Tottenham Oxford Stadium, we lost all four, conceded 13 and scored only one goal. We haven't won on Tottenham territory ever in the Premier League either, if you include their time at the old White Hart Lane that they used to be at and that as well. So it's going to be a very, very intense game, I'm certain for sure. I don't think we'll keep a clean sheet, but I think a draw will be a fair result. So I'm going to go over 2-2 two -two. you watch my Palace versus Spurs pre or my Spurs versus Palace preview, I should say. Um, with Rich, shout out him and that shout out Eagle Lab Football. Um, I did say we draw 2-2 two -two in that as well. He, he said the same thing. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice to see fans being optimistic, you know, especially us actually being optimistic going to Tottenham. So I can't wait. See that on the way up there. Hopefully it's going to be a good day. Hopefully it's going to be a banging away day and that as well. Probably be my last away day of the season potentially and that too. So let's make the most of it and make it a good one. Come on, you Eagles. <laughs> At five guys, that's the food review. Um, what well, do you think? No. Okay, chips are, nice. chips are nice and crispy. Yeah, well, your burger. Uh, the burger, burger look, is looking good, it's a double. <laughs> mm. Decent, yeah? Nice. Prediction for today before we head up to Tottenham. Oh, right, mate. High scoring draw. What was it? I remember you said in the preview. 3 3 up, yeah. 3 3. inside the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium right now. It's an unbelievable stadium. One of the best in the Premier League, man. We're right near the, the front as well, near the goal that we're going to probably score it in, in the second half. So yeah, man, come on. JC here, how are you doing man? What's your, what's your predictions and your thoughts for this game? Uh, predictions, got to be 2-2. It's an incredible stadium, yeah, I love it. it. The, the, whatever the wall, they're copying Dortmund, but it's going to be a good game. Yeah. I think it'll be 2-2. I'm excited to see how Elise Zaha, how you play today, how you've been on fire lately. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I haven't seen a goal here. I've already said it on the on your little preview in the chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen a goal here yet, but you know we're playing well. They're not playing too well. We could score today. However, they have dropped Dia. The one thing that we wanted them to, we wanted them to yeah, play. Exactly. <laughs> um, they have switched to a back four as well. Uh, they're not as good as a back four. And Poro's at the right back position. Yeah. So Zaha, if he if he's fit, I hope he is. Nice. Yeah, right. he, he have a lot of love out of Poro, but That's definitely.
quarter here. Oh, bloody hell. Come on, Palace, come on. Shout out to Tottenham. To pass three from, what's it, um, Kane to Hoiberg. Should have got it on target. Well, it's got nearly done there, but it's the best chance they've had so far in the first 24 minutes of this first half. It's quite far out, this. Oh, right, shoot, it's too far out. He will. Ah. Corner again, oh boy, hopefully we don't see from this. Oh crap. Ah, hit it. No! Bloody hell, Jesus. Another one, please. Just deal with it. So naive. There we go, we dealt with it. Well done. 1 0, Harry Kane. Poor defending. Too much room on this um, left hand side here. Yeah, free header. Wasn't going to miss, was he? God's sake. Tottenham, man. We don't deserve it. We play really well. The switch stop right on the stroke, man. It was one minute added on and the cross came in. You know, Mitchell was nowhere to be seen. I think Porro put it in the box and Kane scored, man. Uh, always Harry Kane scoring against us every flipping time as well, man. You know what I mean? Going so well. Just, it's just taking the spirit out of the game a bit and, you know, out, out, out look at the fans. He's just flattened us a bit. Same with the team as well, man. You know, we don't deserve it, but we just switched off. We were just naive. We, we need to do a lot better second half. To be a bit slightly more kind of positive and more direct in our attack, man. You know what I mean? So hopefully we can do that. But kind of disappointed. But it wasn't a bad first half. So let's just keep it going. Hopefully we get something. I want to see at least a goal here, man. You know what I mean? We, we don't score here that often. Hopefully we can just get a goal for the least. Come on, Palace, man. Oh, better, come on! Oh, it's a! Oh, man, I'm lucky. Doing better, man. We've been the better team started off for the first seven minutes, but we've got to get our target. Who's that to? Bit, bit more direct there, there you go. Come on, Zaha, quicker, quicker, end product. Ah! Nonsense! So far in the first 15 minutes of the second half, it's all been panels with a few attempts. You know, could be 1-1 one, one to be fair. Spurs have had a few crosses into the box, but so far so good. Scott keep up and get a goal. Eventually take a chance. Come on. In the Spurs corner is Poro whipping it in. Um, Johnson had to palm it over. Come on. Spurs fans have woken up. <laughs> Bloody hell, you can, only, you can only hear them when they score, when they have a corner. Defender corner. Come on, it away. Wake up! Should have been 2 0 somewhere for on goal. Try going around Johnson. Super Sam Johnson makes a save. Come on. Man! Jesus Christ! Get a striker on already. Bloody hell! We got a free kick, but Tottenham are time wasted and the rest doing nothing about it. Useless! Lines has been a joke. Disgrace. Romero's decided to go down like a complete flipping numpty. Ooh. to get off there, referee. Come on! There you go. Ooh. Disgraceful, man. Shambles. The embarrassment from the officials, man. Shameful. Should be about seven. Should be about eight. Get up there. It's baseball. Oh my God! It's getting madness. It's crazy right now, man. Don't pick him. Oh, rubbish. 
Ah! He's not even trying to take his control of the Johnson, you're not fit to referee. You're not fit to referee. You're not fit. You're not fit. You're not fit to referee. You're not fit to referee. To the referee, one now. To the referee, one now. I'm a ref. Get in the box, you idiot. Man. Just got him back from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Blimey, what a miserable afternoon that was. Another game away from home we haven't scored in. Um, another 1 0 defeat away from home as well. I mean, the list is endless. We weren't bad today, but we just lacked that sharpness in product and directness within our play attacking wise. You know, our final third report. We actually defended pretty well, to be fair, especially from set pieces, you know. I just think, you know, the way the game sort of planned out, it looked like we were going into half-time, they were the right on the stroke of half-time when they announced one minute added on, they go and bloody score. That's the worst time to concede a goal. That is literally the worst time to concede a goal, man, you know, and it just knocked us for six. It kind of shattered our confidence. It gave Spurs more momentum and a better sort of game plan and strategy for the second half, and we sort of just didn't really kind of recover. We had a few chances, you know, a few scrappy attempts um there's a hard sort of cross or shot that just went wide as they had a shot that was comfortably saving fraser foster i think the one thing that annoys me is we didn't score you know we just weren't as deadly enough as we know this team is capable of and that like we were against west ham at home southampton away leads at home you know what i mean so it leads away sorry i mean it's just just kind of disappointing me today and that you know i thought the support was excellent and that as well big up the home stuff and that x big up all the palace supporters made the way up there and that supporting the team in a london derby could sell out as well but it's just hard it just highlights our season you know struggling to score goals we didn't have a prolific centre forward up there where we needed one most today and that as well Edward came on didn't really do anything in that Ayu was a bit lost so hard wasn't good enough Eze didn't have his best game I thought at least did well thought he tried but just wasn't getting the support and yeah just didn't have anyone to put the ball in the back of the net you know it's just kind of a bit of a it just you know, it's just kind of, it was just a flat day to be fair. I kind of already want the season to kind of be over, despite us having to play like Bournemouth at home, Fulham away and Forest in our next three games before the season ends, you know. Just got to kind of keep pushing. this top ten over, not really, but listen, I think we just got to win our next three games if we want to get a top half finish for the first time in eight years and that as well. But yeah, it looks like our miserable record at Tottenham continues. Another game away at Spurs, losing a goal to nil and not scoring. I mean, it says it all really, don't it, you know. It just, it just wasn't our day. I thought the referee and the linesman, I mean, it was just awful refereeing, really poor decisions, cost us the game a little bit. Just nothing was going our way. Spurs were cheating, they were getting away with it. When one of our players committed a foul or did something dirty or whatever, they'd get booked for it or whatever for simulation, for flipping fouling and that. It was just biased. He was just biased to Tottenham. Same for the linesman, nearly away fans, the little mug, honestly. But... Yeah, just Palace not winning away again, just a bit down, a bit flat. But look, we got Bournemouth, hopefully we can win that. They just lost to Chelsea today, so that's a big L for them, big time. Um, yeah, um, apart from that, wonderful stadium. Wasn't the best away there, I suppose, but at least, you know, I could tick the Spurs, well, the, the, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium off my list, I would say, to be fair in that as well. So, yeah, like, share, subscribe, road to 3K, we're nearly there, my people, let's... Keep just just keep subscribing and that as well. You know, and my socials are links for all of them on TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram down below in the description. And I will see you lot in my next video. So do not go changing that as well. And yeah, up the palace as always, despite the defeat. But people win a bit.